<laughs> ida di, ida di, ida di, ida di, ida Well, Ezra Miller went full goblin mode and took the rest of the DCEU with him. I'm not transgender, non-binary, I don't want to be searched by a man. I'm transgender, non-binary, and I don't want to be searched by a man. I oh my god, did Ezra Miller just assume that officer's gender? In case you worry that they're bullets, those are Nerf bullets. Thank you for letting me They are fake and they are a toy. Thank you for letting me There's my belt buckle and my Nerf bullets. I appreciate that. Please don't take them from me. I had nerve damage from police hands. No, what the heck, I'll <laughs> laugh anyway. <laughs> DC's been so hell-bent on being progressive, every project has gone progressively insane. If you've seen DC Comics, it looks like the writers spend more time on Twitter being activists rather than being creative. But finally, someone took their nose out of the woke coke and realized they had a disaster so big it could actually damage the brand. It's over. We are screwed. And I'm personally mortified by the fact that Batgirl will not see theater releases. We could have had another Morbius, but no. DC had to be smarter than Disney. Anyway, Batgirl got canned. I don't know about you, but it looks like a CW TV show they labeled as a movie. With A-list celebrities from 40 years ago, Brendan Fraser and Michael Keaton, both men appear to be geriatrics borderlining on octogenarians. Oh, and Supergirl got canned as well. That was a spinoff from The Flash. But thanks to Ezra Miller's Crazy King Spring, that's pretty much over. People on Twitter who used to love Ezra Miller because he used to be a they them, or maybe he still is. I don't know, I get him and Demi Lovato confused all the time. Both seem to be bat crazy. Pardon the pun. Well, anyway, now that... Ezra Miller's on the outs. Progressive Twitter demands that Elliot Page replaces Ezra Miller as the Flash. I wish to God I saved all of these unhinged demands from career Twitter users, aka Zoomers, screaming into the void. I don't know what planet they live on where they think Warner Brothers wants to just fritter money away and make Elliot Page the Flash. Admittedly, I'd probably watch it just to see how bad it was. Frankly, I get excited when shows are real bad now. Like, before you used to get excited when things were good. Now it's like, how bad could it be? The costumes look like they spent more of the budget on catering and diversity hires than practical effects and props. For God's sakes, Batgirl is riding around on a BMW S1000RR with the original BMW logos and insignias on it. It's kind of funny to think about. The stunt girl for Batgirl is actually white. Like we wouldn't notice. If you look at Supergirl's costume, it's made by someone with Down syndrome. I mean, for real, look at those abs. How do you make a bustle suit and not understand basic human anatomy? It looks like they taped spoons to her belly. Men playing superhero roles have to get fit. Women playing superhero roles, they just get CGI or muscle suits. That doesn't seem fair. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Remember the old days of the internet? Anonymously living your best life and buying things or clicking whatever, worry-free. Now Big Tech watches every move you make and tracks everything you click. Like a modern-day Mary Kay girl, always looking to sell, sell, sell. Surfshark is here to clean up your web experience. Block those pesky trackers and cookies. What a man looks at on his own time is his own damn business. Get out of here, Google! Surfshark even goes the extra mile by writing a blog that explains to you how you can even save money on airline tickets using a VPN. This is crazy. I didn't know you could do this. Let's not forget, you could use Surfshark to watch region lock content. Wink, wink. Click the link in the description or use the code It's a Gun to find out how you could save 83% and get three months off for free. And guess what? If you don't like it, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. You can't lose. Anyway, what bothered me about Batgirl's bat cycle was the fact the prop department couldn't afford a razor blade to scrape off the BMW decals. And Batman, my God, look at him. Michael Keaton now looks like every jackass that shows up to a Comic Con. This is tragic. 
It looks like somebody went and bought a costume from the spirit of Halloween and stuffed Michael Keaton in it. This is career poison. Wakanda forever. Firefly with Brendan Fraser. The costume matches the state of Brendan Fraser's physical appearance. <laughs> Absolute shit. I'm sorry, Brendan Fraser. We all knew that this was going to be a train wreck of a film from the jump. It had all the hallmarks of a failed venture, with casting choices you'd only see on a BuzzFeed article or poll. Barbara Gordon, a well-known redhead, is now a female, colored, bisexual. Throughout my life, these have proven to be obstacles from time to time, but now I'm fully embracing them as my superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If I saw another white person play a white character, I'd have pissed myself at a bronies meetup and screamed into my gender neutral potato head. It was also going to feature the first transsexual superhero that was retconned to be transsexual, I think, in the new 52. If you care, I forgot her name is Ayana Cho or something like that. It's like a character no one cares about. Who would want this character in a movie? That would be like having a major focus on like Jimmy from the Daily Bugle in a Superman movie. Who cares about Jimmy besides Superman? I don't even think Jimmy's parents care about Jimmy. Basically, it all went downhill when Warner Brothers test screened the movie and people were trying to commit suicide in the seats. One man reportedly tried to hang himself with his own shoelaces. Sources say that he was wearing Nike Air Force One mochas. HBO Max's Batgirl, starring Leslie Grace, has reportedly been shelved by Warner Brothers Discovery, according to a report from The Warp. The movie, which costs $90 million, the people working on it says $100 million, to produce seems to have failed to please the audiences in the first test screenings, potentially leading to Warner Brothers Discovery decision to shelve the project and prevent it from being a huge flop. Oh, damn it, I could have used a good laugh. And I... Uh pray that this video does not fall into the hands of the trolls. Collider has spoken to people who saw the unfinished movie who told us it was a huge disappointment and looked cheap in comparison to other films. What are you talking about? Look at Superwoman. She looks like a goddamn goober. While information about Batgirl's plot is scarce, probably because it wasn't one, the movie was supposed to connect to a bigger DCEU extended universe with J.K. Simmons returning as Commissioner James Gordon and part of the played both roles in the Justice League, Michael Keaton as Batman, Tim Burton, yeah, we know, Brenda Fazier as the classic Batman villain Firefly. Let's be real, nobody really cares about Firefly. Ivory Aquino as the transgendered vigilante, Alyssa Yao, Rebecca Front, and Corey Johnson and Ethan Kai. I don't know who these people are. I would have known who they were if you just put this sh film out. Uh, the chick playing Batwoman, girl, whatever, Lisa Grace, Lee, Leslie Grace, I'm already tired. To every Batgirl fan. How are there any fans? We saw nothing. Thank you for the love and belief allowing me to take the cape and become, as Barb said best, my own damn superhero, Batgirl for life. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. We're, we're going to remember this. Like, in like three weeks, we're all going to forget this movie ever existed. We'll be on to some new crappy... We'll be watching Lord of the Rings and vomiting in our mouths. Leslie also posted a video of herself singing Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You, right? I don't know. I guess this is supposed to let you know she's moving forward positively. If that's the Batgirl suit, it looks like sh After the post broke the Batgirl story, Variety reported the film was killed for tax purposes and to avoid marketing costs. Smart move. Outlets correctly noted that Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslav is pivoting away from the old strategy of direct streaming releases. A lot of these direct streaming shows are absolute buckets. However, film industry sources insist to the Post that the film's quality was part of the equation. Said in an on-screen test numbers were in the 30s out of 100. Oh, that's Morbius good. Plus, streaming wasn't on the table anyway. HBO Max, I'm told, didn't lose Batgirl. It had zero interest in the movie. <laughs> Casey Boyce, what a weird name. The chief content officer at HBO and HBO Max did not want it anywhere near his streaming service. 
and the film was instead headed for theatrical release. I got nothing for that. Could you imagine how bad this is? Now I really want to see it. I am intrigued. It's so bad, a streaming service doesn't want it. We live in a day and age where streaming services just want to pump out content. And they actually looked at Batgirl and said, no, we're good. I think, I think we can do some more reruns of Seinfeld or something. The next movie is becoming a huge mess for the studio with fans online demanding the film be released. The debacle has been made more egregious by the fact that the film is led by a Latin actress surrounded by a diverse cast of filmmakers. Well, you don't think that possibly that was the issue leading with diversity. And then, oh, I have to see this film now. I have to see it. You got to release it, Warner Brothers. Not because I think it's good, but because, oh man, could you, oh, it would be, it would be so memeable, dude. It'd be so memeable. I could taste it. You know, and if this came out in the future, some idiots were talking about diversity in television and movies. You just like pull out clips from Batgirl. Oh, it would have been the greatest rebuttal ever. Why must they deny us such pleasure? Talk about waking up and choosing violence, Heather Anto said. She's apparently popular for something according to Yahoo News. Warner Brothers Discovery will not release Batgirl, though. That's not a shocker. Leslie Grace, Michael Keaton, Brendan Frazier, Al Paula Abdul. <laughs> All of their hard work deserves to be seen by the world. Bro, they're actors, not coal miners. Oh my god. Oh, Michael Keaton's gonna lose sleep. Someone didn't see him put on a ill-fitted Batman costume. What a world! If they're willing to set a $130 million on fire, to not release Batgirl or Scoob. Oh yeah, I forgot they canceled Scooby-Doo too. Then Warner Brothers should absolutely have no excuses not to scrap the Flash given the circumstances surrounding Ezra Miller. Here's the thing. Maybe the Flash might actually be decent. The reason why Batgirl isn't happening is because it was so bad. It would damage the brand, which I wish they'd do it. Just so I could watch superhero movies die. Warner Brothers, let's scrap Batgirl film with promising young star that I had never heard of, but sure, Linus. Michael Keaton, Batman, and Brendan Fraser as the villain, but making absolutely no changes to the Flash film where the star is currently hiding from the police. It just tells you how bad this film's gotta be. Batgirl is so bad, they would rather put out Ezra Miller's Flash. So bad, it's gotta be good. It's probably the greatest piece of cinema in human history and we'll never see it. The fact that they are shelving Batgirl, but still planning to release the Flash movie and praying somehow no one has read a single Ezra Miller story online for the past two years is a choice. Yes! How hard is it for you to understand, Lacey? Batgirl's just that bad! These idiots are trying to frame it like, oh, they're trying to keep down a woman of color. No, the film is terrible. It's so bad, the CEOs are like, let's lead with Ezra Miller. <laughs> Ezra hasn't been in trouble for a whole two weeks. We should be cool. <laughs> oh, you Twitter, you progressive Twitter brainlets. These are the same people that see crimes unfolding and they sit there and go, listen, he's stealing Jordan's to feed his kids. Knowing damn well he's probably not in his kids' lives. Uh-oh, and the video's still, we're in trouble. 